Hey Sagittarius, this is going to be a general love reading for the first half of September 2021. It's going to be for your Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs, and it is general, so it's not going to resonate for all of you, but of course you can check out one of your other signs if you want, one of your person signs, or you can book a personal reading. Alright, let's see what is going on with Sagittarius. Also keep in mind the roles can be reversed for general readings. So let's see. What is the overall energy? And we have contemplation. All right, and I feel like we got this for Aries, actually. All right, so yeah, definitely a lot of thinking, a lot of trying to figure things out, possibly trying to resolve um, an issue. Let's see. But somebody is deep in their thinking mode. So Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. First half of September. All right, for the situation, we have the Eight of Cups crossed by the Two of Wands. All right, so somebody is trying to walk away from a situation and it feels like they're just thinking a lot about it, um, possibly some stalling, some procrastinating, really like holding <laughs> this card, it's like holding the world in this person's hand, right? This person's holding the world. They have control. They have control. They have the energy. Sometimes I say with this card, it's like keeping your energy in reserve to use for later. So that's what, what I'm getting here when it comes to walking away from a situation. Could be you, could be your person. Recent past, we have the Four of Swords, and in the near future, we have the King of Cups. All right, so definitely some healing that has been taken place. I feel like there must have been a lot of difficulties in the past here in order to have the Four of Swords in the recent past. So definitely some healing here, and for others of you, this could definitely be that things were kind of just put to rest a little bit, like there has been a pause and I'm getting that for actually for a lot of you that it's going to be a both. It's going to be a combination of um, the two things that I just said here. Definitely some love though showing up. Some emotional stability in the near future. For you we have the Ten of Pentacles. For them we have the Page of Swords. For you we also have the Knight of Pentacles. For them the Hierophant and the potential outcome here is the Fool. All right, so, you're wanting commitment with this person. Um, definitely feeling like you're wanting this to work out for the long term. It's not just a fling for you. I feel like you are, you've been, you've been either taking some steps towards making this happen, possibly moving, um, at a very steady pace, either just being very, very patient with them or just being also very, very careful with how, with your energy. All right. I, again, I, I don't know who it is that is trying to walk away here. It's not very clear. Um, but your person here, there's definitely a lot of curiosity, a lot of thinking and a lot of um, really being interested in what is going on with you. So I don't know if the communication is limited at the moment because I do see this person wanting to communicate or just really being interested in what is going on with you. They have the higher fence as well. So this is telling me that definitely they are also feeling this sense of commitment with you or of wanting that or feeling some kind of a spiritual bond with you. Um, at the same time, I mean, having both the Ten of Pentacles and the Hierophant and one is for you and the other is for the other person, there definitely could be another um, commitment involved here, okay? Like a third party situation, especially um, a marriage for either one of you or maybe even the both of you. With the fool showing up as the potential outcome here, that's somebody taking a risk, somebody taking a leap of faith. So let's clarify. Let's see the Eight of Cups with the Two of Wands. All 
right, and we have the King of Pentacles, the Queen of Wands, and the Wheel of Fortune. What is going on here? Somebody is trying to make a change. That's the thing here. Somebody is really wanting to make a change when it comes to, to a commitment. And I feel like this needs to be more consistent. I feel like the passion is there. I feel like the drive is there. The confidence is there. Like all the assets are there. If this is... I mean, you could be cross-watching again. Just take the roles as they resonate for you. They could be reversed. Um, but if this is your person who is trying to walk away from something, I feel like they have been doing that, but maybe not in, in um, a consistent way. And I feel like that is what... That is what needs to happen here. And that is what the universe is pushing for. That is the shift that is needed. Let's see the Ten of Pentacles for you. Right. He's been trying to sit on the cards in like every reading. <laughs> no, just sit where you were. Okay, good boy. All right. So for the Ten of Pentacles, we have the Seven of Cups, the Nine of Wands, and the Three of Cups. Yeah, so you're wanting this this commitment, but you're feeling like it's very, very challenging at the moment. Um, I feel like you're feeling like this is this is driving you crazy in the sense that it's very, very confusing. Because again, I feel like this person feels like they are in the process of walking away from another situation. But then, you know, something just changes, like then it kind of shifts. And so that confuses you and it's making it feel like, you know, like how can you deal with this? It's making it feel like it's very, very tiring. And not only that, it has wounded you. It has hurt you. Even so, I feel like you would still want this um, connection to happen. And I feel like you are, you're trying to bring yourself to this place of feeling a little bit more light. And I feel like we got that from one of the other fire signs. I can't remember who it was, but you're trying to bring this to an energy of just being a little bit more, not so heavy. And I feel like it's not so much that you're trying to do that for the connection as much as it is for your own self. Because you're just tired of being hurt and of being patient and of pushing through all the time and just, you know, constantly persisting. Let's see the Knight of Pentacles. All right, the King of Swords, the Magician, and the Ten of Pentacles again. Yeah, so I see you as being, again, very, um, I feel it's, it's cautiousness. I feel like you've been very cautious. Trying to not be um, overbearing, trying not to, trying not to push this person. While you, but, but you're still trying to manifest this connection. Again, this the roles can be reversed, number one. Number two, it might not be for everybody's situation. I feel like this is very specific. Um, this is going to resonate for those of you where I feel like there is a third party um, situation going on and I feel like this is a person that you still want to be with. You're not, you're not like trying to finish it. You're not trying to get over this person. I don't see that. I see this more as 
you just going about it very, very carefully, being careful not to push this person or pressure them into anything, at least now. I don't know what you what may have been the case in the past, but for now, I feel like you're just trying to manifest this in a more um, stable way. And I mean, if this is the case, you know, this is something that this person has to manifest really on their own. I don't feel like there is much that you can do about it. I feel like what's helping you here, because there is a double message here, you standing your your own ground and you being firm with what it is that you would want, that is going to help you to manifest um, a long-term commitment, whether it's this person or somebody else. But I feel like for um, for a lot of you, that is what it is that you you are realizing. or have realized. And so I do, I, I do for the most part see that you are moving in the right direction. And this is going to manifest some kind of a commitment here. So let's see for them, let's see the Page of Swords. All right, the Four of Pentacles and the King of Cups. Yeah, this person is um, definitely holding back some of their emotions from you. Um, I feel like there's some stubbornness here. Again, they're very curious as to what is going on with you. But, and there is this sense of wanting to communicate. They do hold a lot of emotions and a lot of love for you, but they're holding that back at the moment. Let's see the Hierophant. Three of Pentacles and the Ace of Wands. Yeah, see, so definitely there's a third party situation here um, for this group that I'm reading for. Let me get one more. The Hanged Man. This person is beginning to think a lot about um, what it is that brings them passion, what it is that inspires them. This is wanting to reconnect with something from the past, reignite a connection from the past. I feel like at the moment, they're not so able to do that with the hanged man, like they are holding back, as I said, down here. And I feel like this might be a common theme for the fire signs um, for the first half of September. There's a little bit of holding back the passion. There's a little bit of holding back that that drive that they that is there. All right. It's just kind of um, it's being held in reserve, as I said in the very beginning. But let's see this King of Cups. It's the second time we have the, the King of Cups. We had it down here as well which is for the near future, because I see that emotions are beginning to open up here. Yeah, there we go. All right, the Ace of Cups and the High Priestess. And I definitely feel like this is your person here. Um, opening up their heart, following their heart. I mean, look at this. This is unconditional love here moving in the direction of love. So if they have been holding back their emotions, their feelings, as I said down here, um, I see them opening up to you about that. And just speaking more from the heart and expressing that. Um, the High Priestess can still be holding some back, so I do feel like there might still be a sense of just not really expressing everything, but this person is definitely beginning to follow their heart, following their intuition here, understanding, having a deeper understanding of love and what it is that, that brings them love and wanting that. Let's see the pool. The potential outcome. All 
All right, the Eight of Swords, the Nine of Pentacles, and the Queen of Cups. Very similar energies with the rest of the fire signs. Definitely let me know if you're dealing with another fire sign. Um, yeah, somebody is taking a risk, taking a leap of faith, even if that means having to face a fear. This is, I mean, the Eight of Swords followed by the Nine of Pentacles. This is moving away from being trapped. Moving towards freedom, liberty, independence, self-reliance, being single, or independent of whatever it was that was keeping them stuck. And this is moving towards love. Again, really following their heart, really following their intuition. That is going to be a huge risk. Um, I don't know if this is happening um, within this time frame, but definitely this is where things seem to be headed here. And it's going to begin with this person just opening up emotionally. Opening up emotionally so you will get that, um, that hint. So let's see, Sagittarius, if this resonated. Ooh, and we have the new moon eclipse. Expect powerful change. Yeah, it does feel like it's going to be powerful because it will be a huge, huge change, won't it? All right, Sagittarius, those are your messages. Thank you so much for watching and much love.